to make a tunnel this big. My scientific training tells me nothing, but I hope we can find out what's behind this. And stop it. Right, Carl, before the entire city is destroyed. How far down do you think this tunnel goes? Looks like we'll soon find out. Oh boy, some adventure at last! <laughs> Well, they finally hit bottom. Wow, talk about big. Dr. Darian, could this cavern possibly be a natural formation? I'm not sure what it could be, Brock. This earth isn't volcanic, and it looks like it's been freshly dug or bitten into. Bitten into? What? What's happening? <laughs> Full speed ahead! Come on, Suki! We're trapped! There's another tunnel over there. It'll probably block that tunnel too, unless... Carl, you're going the wrong way. It's our only chance. Let's throw some more light on the situation. <laughs> Living in the darkness, it can't stand the light. Fantastic, Captain. Come on, Godzuki! We're getting out of here! Call as I'd ever won. Doesn't look like we're out of it yet. Captain, hit the Godzilla signal! It's gone. I must have lost it when we were digging Pete and Godzuki out. to my ears. This'll be a snap for God's sake. I don't know, Brock. That Earth Eater is getting accustomed to the light. Godzilla's 
using his laser beam eyes. Using those sound waves to blast his way through the earth. We've got to make certain he doesn't get away next time. Next time? What's in these crates anyway? Smoke canisters, Brock. They have a harmless tranquilizing effect. Yeah, to put the Earth Eater sound to sleep. Right at least long enough for us to come up with a plan. Good work, Pete! He's coming this way now! Got him. We blocked every tunnel we could find. Right. With no way out, he'll be safely asleep before you can say...